another episode of the Investment Properties Sales Show. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you, giving it to you straight. I really love quads, man. I love quads. It's literally my favorite type of investment. It should and is likely a lot of your favorite types of investments. That's why we're going to be dealing with a pretty serious bidding war here, right? 3541 West 105th Cleveland 44111. Solid neighborhood, man. Solid, solid C-grade neighborhood. Pricing this sucker at 139.9. You guys are probably going to be battling each other, right? Uh, so anybody out there who's thinking about making any type of offer uh anything under list is out of their freaking mind right this is definitely going for list or above right finance offers are cool cash offers uh might be necessary to take this one down but of course refinancing out after the fact is probably a good move because the financing folks that is specifically uh the number one reason i love quads i feel like the four unit apartment building is literally the best investment for newer investors right the reason being is the financing right real estate investing it's one way you can invest your money. There are a bunch of ways you can invest your money, man. You could open up a, I don't know, you could open up a bar, you could open up a restaurant, you could open up a tattoo shop, you could friggin' sell donuts, man. I don't know. You could do a whole bunch of stuff in this world, right? There's a whole bunch of ways you can invest your money. Man, you can invest it in freaking doggy coin, dude. I don't know. You could do a lot of stuff. But you know what? There's only one type of investment, one type of business I'm aware of that the bank's going to come in and loan you 75% of the money you need with you only bringing in a quarter. And they're going to do so at a low fixed interest, a tax-deductible interest, and they're going to do it for 30 years. And that's real estate investing. That's why I chose real estate investing. Real estate investing as my primary uh, mode of entrepreneurship of investment, right? That's why the business I chose is the real estate business, right? The financing, it kicks everybody's ass, okay? You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and sell your property on Holden Wise TV. Now, with that financing though, you can't just get as many of those loans as you want and you can't just put those loans on any type of property you want, no. Those type of loans are only available for one to four unit residential properties and you only get 10 of them. So if you're smart, you use the first one on your home, right? You gotta take care of home base first, folks. I tell you that all the time. You gotta take care of home base first. That leaves you with nine mortgages. Nine of those beautiful 30 year mortgages. Do you want nine rent checks coming in because of your nine mortgages? Or do you want 36 rent checks coming in, right? I think you want 36. 36 more than nine, right? That's at least how I feel, right? So the four unit apartment building is the largest building, the most possible rent one can get with one of those mortgages. And we know they're scarce, they're limited. After that, you gotta move up to commercial financing, right? So I love quads. And they don't come on the market very often, folks. They do not come on the market very often. When they do come on the market, it's a freaking battle, right? It looks like a freaking WWE wrestling match watching you guys fight over them because of all the things I just mentioned, right? Not to mention, we have a pretty low inventory of them here in the Cleveland market. We have ample inventory as far as single-family homes go. We have ample duplexes that were built in this market, right? But not a lot of four-unit apartment buildings were built, so... When all that stuff, all those factors are combined, man, we get bidding wars. And that's exactly what we're going to have here, right? My company, we already managed this uh, for the current ownership group, right? We got two tenants in there, long-term tenants, right? Uh, those tenants have been in this property for years. Uh, these guys just opted to to be totally passive with this investment. They didn't really want to up the rents. They just wanted to leave them chill. As a matter of fact, those two vacant units uh, sat vacant for a very long time. These guys... Uh, just really put this thing on the back burner. Didn't really want to think about it. So uh, they're liquidating just because it's just something these guys don't have time for, right? These guys are doing other types of businesses. So this is something they really uh, never thought about or paid much attention to. So 
Uh, what we have for you is those two tenants paying below market rent, 550 and five and a quarter. What we're seeing right now is 600. 600 is a reasonable rate for these units over here. The size, the bedroom count, this neighborhood, et cetera. 600 is what we should get in market. And then we got the other two units that are empty. And we don't need to do much, right? One needs uh, about 6,500, right? $6,495 is going to bring it up to a Holton Wise rental property standards. The other one only needs 2,328, right? You spend that money on each of these units, you're going to get 600 in rent out of them. Now, if you look through our line by line bid, you'll see that we've also offered you the option to go with premium upgrades. You could spend a few more grand on each unit and deck the suckers out. That's up to you, right? That's what we do here at Holton Wise. We give y'all options, right? You got to spend that. You got to spend the 4000 or I'm sorry, you got to spend the 6495 and the 2328 to get up to minimum rental standards, right? We ain't managing a property for you if it doesn't meet local, state, and federal housing guidelines, right? We ain't, we ain't running slums here, right? You got to spend that. We ain't touching the property on your behalf. If you don't meet that, we can't put tenants in it if you don't do that, right? We have standards here. But as far as how nice you want to go, how much you want to deck it out, that's up to you. You want to go with the premium upgrades, you can. It's up to you. You don't have to, though. Personally, I think going with premium upgrades makes a lot of sense, even if it doesn't increase your rent. I don't think it really will. I think 600 is about the ceiling here, right? It's not about increasing the rent, though, folks. It's about reducing the turnover, we make the most money in real estate by keeping butts in our units, okay? Look, the one rental, it's $2,300, right? If you got to spend $2,300 every two years, right, you're going to make a lot less money than the guy that only had to spend $2,300 every 10 years. Am I right? So the nicer you make your units, the more likely your tenants are going to stay in them for the long haul. The worst thing you can do as a landlord, as an investor, is give someone a unit that they think is eh, good enough. This will do till I find something better, right? Because when they move out, no matter what, there's going to be turnover costs, right? You're probably going to be repainting, patching nail holes, people putting decorations up. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast, man. This is C-grade investing. It's not practical or feasible for real estate investors to think when these folks move out they leave it broom clean it just doesn't happen that's just not this asset class if you're looking for stuff like that to happen you got to move up in asset classes but if you'd like to hit these numbers hit these metrics right uh this is the type of numbers and metrics you can get but you have to understand that tenant base right you have to understand what it's really like to be a c-grade landlord which is why Holton Wise TV exists, right? Our goal here is to provide you guys with investment opportunities like this one, but also, perhaps even more importantly, provide you with an insight into what the business really looks like. That's why we do these videos. That's why we break everything down. That's why we have things like the Tennis from Hell show on Holton Wise TV. So once you're done with this video, check all that out. And again, if you'd like to jump in the ring, get your hat in the ring there for this bidding war, send your offers to my team, Sales at HoltonWise.com. Have your pre-approval letters and proof of funds ready. Don't waste your time or my time with lowball offers, folks. If you're paying attention to the market, you know this thing is priced for a battle. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.